the outside, Shri Prabhupada's house. Shri Prabhupada said, why, why is it wherever I go, I always smell fresh paint? Well, now we have fresh paint here in Shri Vrindavan Dham also. There's Arikesh. She's in charge of Shri Prabhupada's house. She's doing a great job. And a 24-hour Kirtan devotee. Prabhupada's house ki jai. Prabhupada's house ki jai. the windows outside. And it goes right around the park on the path. We've got Guru Shri Prabhupada ki jai. Krishna Balaram Mandir ki and you come in, there's a reading room here. And then the next room used to be the office of the secretary. They've added another room that wasn't part of Prabhupada's house before, and now it's a library where they have classes. And this is the main entrance to Shri Prabhupada's main room. And this is where he would translate every afternoon. This is where I'd have darshan with the devotees around 5.30 every night. And this is the last time I saw Shri Prabhupada. He was sitting here when my visa ran out in July. And he sent me to get an artery. I came in the room and did my final obeisances. And he said, so, thank you very much for your service. You've been very serious and sincere. And you're welcome to be my personal servant anytime. So I offered my obeisances to Shri Prabhupada backed out of this room and took one last look at Shri Prabhupada and he gave a nod of his head and then he went back to his dictaphone recording the Shri Bhagavatam. This is his bed and he's got all kinds of nice pictures around the walls. He's got Shri Radha Damodar right next to him. When he was on his bed and couldn't walk anymore, a new book would come. And Srila Prabhupada asked to be propped up and given his glasses and turn up the lights. And he would examine the book very carefully. And he would have tears in his eyes of joy. He said the books give him life. He went in off when he was on his deathbed, the books and Krishna gave him life. So Gakuru Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Every day the divorce put out another letter on his desk and then during the day the divorce come and read the letter. So it's nice. And here we have the Sankadaya on the wall. And Krishna Balaram at the top. Wait all about one day. But this is the room where he took Prashadam. It was the palakam they carried him in. In the, in the last few months. Here's some of his paraphernalia. Write a letter to Shiva Prabhupada. This is his old mailbox. Cheddar. Shiva Prabhupada's special cooker. He taught us how to cook in Rishikesh. Shri Prabhupada's kitchen utensils. Shri Prabhupada's original prasadam plate. This is the trunk that Shri Prabhupada kept his books in at the Radha Damodar temple. The original trunk. His passport. We're inside Shri Prabhupada's house now. This is his danda. It's like a museum in here. This is his 
personal harmonium. And there's a picture of him playing in it. In total ecstasy. One of his chairs. His brown dread. One of his sets of beads. Here's some of the original writings. The early days of the Back to God here. All here for the devotees to see. All my tickets and apps. Some socks from his own feet. Here's the notice footprints. Over here is one of his early typewriters. It's tape recorder, dictaphone. And this little tape recorder we used a lot in the garden and wherever the problem was around the house. Whenever he started speaking, he'd record it. That was one of my services. Map that he had massages on. He used to conceal the massage. And these shells were used in massage about my back. And we were younger. So leaving the main room. We're coming into kind of a museum room. And then through this way, it goes out into the garden. And on the right side here, it's the room where he got his massage on the floor right there. And this door goes out to the garden where he really liked to be. So you got Guru, Shilapapa, 